tithes and offering. You know what? I, I, I'm going to tell you like this. I want to be with God so protected that in wisdom I can maneuver through this thing. That in wisdom I know how to shake, rattle, and roll through this. That none of this phases me and none of this affects me. I want to be so connected in the will of God and in this world that I'm, I'm not phased by this. That's what I want. I'm seeing people dying by the thousands and you see people crying and still doing the same thing over and over and over and over again. I've said these things are going to happen. You all didn't listen because you were so consumed with the fact of Jives is gay. Jives is ranting. Jives is always going off. Jives, and I've been saying the same thing over and over and over and over again. It's okay. So a lot of y'all feel like, oh, Jives... Oh, Jives, you ain't talking to us. Oh, you know what I'm saying? You not here for us. No, baby. I've said what needs to be said. See, when the prophet is out here, hello, when the prophet is out here, warning, hear ye, hear ye, prepare ye the way of the Lord. Prepare yourselves. When the prophet is out here, talking, like, for real, for real, like, not, we ain't talking about no houses and cars. I want you to be blessed. The Bible says, I wish above all that ye would prosper even as your soul prospers. I want you to be prosperous. I want you to be prosperous, but I want you to live. I want you to have success, but I want you to live. See, see what 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 the preachers at? What the preachers at? What the preachers at? It's like somebody should have prophesied about this young man getting killed. Now, now I'm gonna tell you something. There's enough people in this world. Hello, somebody. There's enough people in this world that somebody could have got a word from God. Somebody could have got an unctioning in their spirit about what the Lord is doing, right? And somebody probably felt something in their spirit in Brunswick about this young man. Where, 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 where the spiritual eyes to see? Where the spiritual ears to hear? Where's the spiritual mind? Prophets, come on here now. Where, where y'all seers at? I need y'all to see. I need y'all to hear. Talking about y'all eagle eye prophets in here. I need you to activate what you say that you are. This is more than just a title. This is more than just a title. Because what you don't do. See, let me tell you something. With these titles and positions comes responsibility. And what you don't do. Let me tell you. Let me tell you here. What you don't do. What you don't do. If you believe that there is a God. If you believe that there is a higher power, remember these words today. When your day comes and your name is called, you're going to be held accountable for what you didn't do and what you did do. So if you are a prophet, pastor, preacher, teacher, and you didn't say nothing to the people and you let the destruction take over your people. Jeremiah said, God's going to deal with you. Huh? God is going to deal with you. Oh, you, you don't, you don't, you don't. Oh, Mario, we, we ain't got time for no doom and gloom. We need to encourage. Babe, we've been encouraged. We have been encouraged. We have been encouraged. 
We've been encouraged long enough. Baby, we've shouted and danced and hiccup a sando. We've done all we've done it all. We didn't been encouraged. We didn't got houses and cars and all these things like that. And we still miss the fact of God wants his people to recognize, observe, and to give him the absolute glory. So you can't go to church now. Okay. You can't go to church now. The relationship, and I'm getting ready to go. The relationship that you're supposed to have has nothing to do with four walls. The relationship that you're supposed to have with the old most high God is one that is within you. Has nothing to do with four walls. What's in you? What's in your bag? What, what, what's, what's inside of you? What's in your spirit? Y'all also interested in going back to church to kick up some dust and some, 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 some termites and carrying on. But God is concerned about how do you feel about me? How do you feel about me? I am your God. I am your only Savior. Even Jesus came to send warning and nobody wanted to listen. Nobody wanted to listen. He sent word in Deuteronomy 28. He said, if my people... That ain't the right scripture, but if my people which are called, see some of y'all don't even know of or think of what have y'all called. If my people which are called by my name, come on y'all talk to me, talk to me. I need y'all to talk to me. Let them thumbs get to working. If my people which are called by my name would humble themselves, seek my face. He ain't say hands. He ain't say hands. See, because the hands give you stuff. See, what the, fa the face, the face is where the mouth and the eyes and the ears are. See, God sees all, knows all, hears all, and speaks to everything. If you will seek my face, I will give you how to get through the pandemic. And since y'all don't want to listen to your pastors, and since your pastors is too busy getting the dingling sucked, and these women is sitting out here, still out here spreading the eagle on the preachers to carry on and stuff like that, I will deal with somebody in the government to speak to my people what you should do. What's going to happen in the land? Because your pastor's too busy on, yeah, come on, sucka, yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all too busy on speaking in, in the tongues. In a jibberish. Jibberish. Too busy and wanting that money. So God uses somebody else. God uses somebody else. And that's okay. That's okay. That there will be some that are mainly focused on the gossip and the tea. Everybody's not going to make it. So while you're focused on the gossip and the tea and who did what and who did this and numbers are high and everything like that, you're going to be lost because your focus is off. You want a prophetic word, baby. Let me tell you something. The Bible says the Bible, the Bible says that there's going to come a time that prophecy shall cease. So if prophecy shall cease, who is speaking? If prophecy shall cease, who is speaking? God or man? Hmm. All right. Hey, what's up everybody? Hope all is well with you. Listen, make sure you hit that notification thing down there. And also hit that bell, okay? 
hit that bell so that you're never left out, you're never confused, you're never wondering as to what I posted, was I on, or are you guys lost, or, hmm. It, what is King really doing, okay? Just make sure I hit that notification. And make sure you subscribe. I love you guys. Talk to you later.